is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI Panthers have to replace two players that made NFL teams their rookie seasons, including the 19th pick overall Trevor Penning, an offensive lineman for the New Orleans Saints. Now UNI football does return 11 starters on the offensive side of the ball, from skill position players to offensive linemen and Theo Day at quarterback. Everyone is aiming to up the production this season. The tradition of UNI football was built by winning the battle in the trenches. This year's offense will once again look to the offensive line to set the tone and create the drive the offense needs. The Panthers have five players returning that all started games a season ago, including Eric Sorensen and Jared Penning, who started all season. You know, we're a really old group. We've got three six years, a seventh year, and we've got a lot of guys with experience, which is nice. And it's, we've been working together for a long time. So you've got, I came in with Justin Piney and Matt Vanderslice, who I've been, I've lived with Piney for a couple of years. So we're all, now we're all healthy going into a season. It's kind of nice. I think we looked it up. We averaged 23 years old, 327 pounds. So, I mean, we're big, we're old, we're experienced. Now it's just getting into stride with the entire, with a new offense, with Coach Clanton moving to OC now. He's got a lot more responsibility on his plate, trying to, get what he wants out of us going forward. What the offense wants this season is to utilize the many returning skill position players to open up the offensive options. This will allow the strengths of UNI's offense to shine. Strengths of the offense, you know, everybody know we fast. So everybody, we gotta be fast. Gotta be fast, gotta be balanced. Oh yeah, I feel like the offense is gonna be special. We've uh, been very e explosive. Uh, this is the most explosive I've seen. Uh, by a, a lot by this offense and a lot of energy too. So I feel like that's the uh, the big biggest thing. Dom Williams returns as the starting running back after averaging six yards per carry in 2021. The passing game returns 10 of the top 11 pass catchers, including Quan Hampton, who led the Panthers a year ago with his 39 receptions. Quan likes the multiple looks you and I can show in the receivers room. Uh, on the outside of receiver, we got a lot of guys that you can, you know, you can put everywhere. And we've been together for three seasons now, you know what I mean? So we kind of in sync with each other and we're all a lot older. Like we're not, we don't have a lot of freshmen. We got a couple, you know, so I feel like that's going to that's gonna be like one of, the, one of our strengths for sure. And then you got the O-line. We got a bunch of great backs in the backfield. You know, they all got different, you know, skills and they all going to be able to contribute to the success of this offense. Starting quarterback Theo Day is back after throwing over 2,300 yards with 16 touchdowns in his first year as the starter. Now with another year of building chemistry with all aspects of the offense, Theo has his sights set on big goals. We have the pieces and we have the talent around to really make a deep run and, and really contend and win the Missouri Valley. Um, so I think the main goal is to start there and win the Missouri Valley. I know that we haven't done that in a while. Um, and, and it will be difficult, obviously. I mean, there's uh, the top 25 is just stacked with teams from the Missouri Valley. So uh, I, I'd say that's goal number one, and then um, then make a run in the postseason. And then offensively, just, just be a little better, average more points per game. UNI football opens the year at Air Force with the first of six home games coming September 17. Six home football games. I've never had that in my career, so it's awesome. You know, this year with the new offensive coordinators, practice has been going really well, and I feel like this offense is really colorful, dynamic, but it's simple enough where the players get it, and now we can translate it to the field on Saturdays. 